Mr. Mitch Nelson. And uh, so we sat around thinking about uh, why my arms are so short. And uh, so I wanted to go through a couple scenarios with you. The first one was uh, I was out camping one day and uh, rock climbing, of course, up in uh, Castle Rock, uh, City of Rocks, Idaho. Pretty fun up there. And uh, got everything set up, ready for a big hike and uh, went to bed and uh, woke up and uh, I was still feeling really groggy. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna go back to sleep, but kind of opened my eyes and that was when I realized it didn't sound like forest or camping anymore. It sounded like a small town. And uh, so I looked around and finally got my eyes open and realized I was in Burley, Idaho behind some building and uh, so I kind of tried to sit up and uh, realized that uh, my arm, my shoulders hurt. It was really terrible. So I looked down and there's scars, there's stitches. And uh, yeah, these are the arms that I had. It was awful. So uh, anyway, it was pretty terrible, kind of a shock. And so I got depressed and got fat and old and, um, you know, just kind of went through life. It was awful. And uh, I take uh, I take comfort though every night I just kind of lay there in bed and focus and imagine of the uh, little dwarf with the orangutan arms <laughs> that are way too long for him or her. Okay, that wasn't great. Hey, come on. So a similar story was uh, when I was uh, helping out at the Hobo Zoo downtown and uh, serving dinners and soups and stuff and this really hot chick, she was pretty short, uh, she uh, she said, hey, come over here. And I was like, what? We were like afterwards, she's like, let's go to a party. And so I followed her because she was really hot and uh, got attacked by three little dwarves. And then the same thing, medical, medical weirdness happened and yeah, yeah. So that's that one. Another one is, uh, the other one, I, I've already said this one at Wise Guys, or tried it at Wise Guys already, but uh, uh, another one was a, another sad story. In uh, college days, I was a party animal. It was pretty awesome. Had a lot of fun out there, uh, partying it up all the time. And uh, went to this one party, and there were drugs, alcohol, everything you could ever want there. It was awesome. We all got so high and so wasted. and. Well, the kids call it cross-faded now. It was pretty amazing. And uh, it was crazy. And this one dude was just freaking out, though, because it was too crowded for him. He's like, guys, come on. What if we just, like, what if we just, like, took our arms off, and then there'd be more room, like, there'd be more room to dance and stuff. And we were like, well, uh, we were all high. We were like, sure, let's try it. So we were all ran over to the door and put our arms in this big pile, and the guy was right. The only problem we had with no arms was you couldn't touch things, you know. Uh, you know, but you know, there's other things you can touch with. That wasn't <laughs> that big of a deal. So uh, it was pretty cool. But uh, like all parties, uh, first of all, I had to go to the bathroom because I have the diabetes, and uh, with no arms, it was hard to go to the bathroom. So it, I was taking a long time in there, and while I was in there, yeah, the police raided. So they came, everyone's like, police, get your arms, get out of here. So they all ran over, and by the time I got out there, all that was left was these two little arms. <laughs> it was a lot of So uh, another camping one, this was fun. Uh, I was camping, and I saw this cave way up on top of the mountain, and I was like, I'm going to climb up to that tomorrow. I was all excited and went to bed early and uh, woke up. And I looked up and there was a freaking vampire sucking on my thumbs. And I was like, what the heck? He had sucked 
all of the blood out of my thumbs. That's why they're so small. And he was starting to shrink my arms, too. And I was like, oh my gosh. I, so I screamed, and I turned over to get away from him. And uh, as I turned over, uh, I punched him in the nose, and that made him sneeze, a choo. And uh, he, he put his fangs in my butt and blew all the blood back in there. And so now I have this big butt and small arms. It's awful. It's the worst thing ever. I like that one, too. So uh, to get, or, uh, or uh, how about this one? To get through college, I had a lot of jobs, but my favorite one was uh, working at Taco Bell. It was pretty fun. I still go eat there all the time because I love the food for some reason. But uh, yeah, what I did was, uh, uh, my job was uh, to uh, keep all the food hot. So you did that by, you know, just when one, one section was getting cold, the nacho cheese, for example, was getting cold, you'd pick that up, you'd throw it in the microwave, and then uh, just when it's done, I had another one ready to go, and I was doing good. I was like, I could do this so fast and easily. But that meant I was standing in front of the microwave the whole time, and it shrunk my arms that whole time. <laughs> but you know how, like, uh, you know how, like, uh, when a frog, uh, when a frog is getting boiled, he doesn't really notice it. So it took me like uh, 11 years to get through college, through four years of college. And so by the time I got down, I was like, oh crap, I can't work anymore. I have short arms. So, let's see. I'm almost done, I promise. Uh, Mitch, you're like, you're, like, you're like the Heath Ledger Joker. You're just like, want to know how I <laughs> So one time, uh, one time I got a flat on the highway. We'll pick a highway out here on State Street, sure. And uh, anyway, I finally got down there and got everything to get the flat off, and it, got, it was stuck. I was pulling really hard. And I fell backwards, you know, fell backwards, my hands up over my head, and a truck ran over both of my arms. It was awful. <laughs> uh, there was more to that. Oh, I jumped up, yeah. So I jumped up as fast as I could, but the damage was done. So uh, I tried to drive, but I couldn't drive very well because my arms were killing me at that point. And uh, so I tried to hitchhike home, but uh, people just kept waving at me. <laughs> it was the worst. <laughs> smiling, hi, I was like, come on, <laughs> and then, uh, and there's this one, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, you know when you're doing time traveling, and, uh, you're not, you, you can, uh, you can really mess things up if you go back in the past, you can, you can cause one of those time paradox things, and, uh, especially, you're not supposed to meet any of your past selves, and, uh, so, uh, I went in, uh, and uh, I didn't know this when I was first starting out time traveling, and I actually met myself as a child. And uh, so uh, we combined, and uh, that's why I act like a little kid and I have small arms. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it for me, guys. It's fun to play around with you. Oh, 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 oh. Who's next? Who wants to be next? I forgot everyone's name. Tim! Woohoo! Uh, Nobody was sitting here? Mm -hmm. I love when you go up with your fun stories that are oh uplifting and, and they uh, kind of share, you know, the, the positive. Mitch, yay! Hold on, I gotta get my notes back. Darn it, I don't know what I'm doing. I know. I thought you were ready. <laughs> Thought I was ready. You gotta have that shit ready for wise guys. Uh, oh yeah, wise guys is easy. Wise guys is only three minutes. I have it memorized when I go to wise guys. That's the only reason you do more though, is just start packing nice shit tighter into three minutes and then being funny. That's what I really like. Tight. Mitch Nelson. Yeah, it is me. It's been me. Oh, that's way too far. It's okay. I just spit. Yeah. I just make a loud noise. All right. So uh, those of you that went to, uh, oh wait, Tim is gonna hear this again. Oh, Tim's gonna walk out on me because he has heard this before. So no, I've been uh, I've been trying out uh, different kinds of stories type stuff and uh
have to mad over it again, you know, nothing. That doesn't even make sense. So I got to go on this trip with my nephew, and we drove for three hours, and then we have to stay awake to get him home. And so we did that by uh, coming up with uh, a bunch of different reasons why my arms are so short. <laughs> and uh, so uh, the the first one was uh, the first one is uh, pretty fun. Uh, we it was pretty simple. We just uh, I went camping basically was out camping and uh, where was I? Oh, this says I was up at the I was up at the city of rocks in Idaho and uh, was about to do some rock climbing and that was going to be a lot of fun and then uh, woke up and there was um, I woke up in the night and all of a sudden it didn't sound like a forest anymore it sounded like some small town and it turned out uh, to be the house where all you guys looked up and realized I was in Hurley, Idaho just up behind some building and I tried to pick myself up and my shoulders hurt like mad and I looked down and So uh, turns out, uh, turns out, uh, um, depression makes you fat and gives you diabetes, and it was bad. It was bad for years. But secretly, I started to uh, lie awake at night and uh, make fun of my head with a little uh, wolf that looks like uh, an orangutan because his arms are too long. <laughs> so <laughs> it didn't work out though. And then. I don't know how to do this. All right, so that was one scenario. Let's see, another one that we came up with was uh, I was uh, hanging out at the, uh, I was hanging out downtown Salt Lake City, uh, helping out at the, feeding, feeding the animals at the Hobo Zoo, and uh, right across from Gateway there. And uh, a really hot girl, kind of a short girl, but a really hot girl came up to me and was like, hey, come on with me. And uh, the rest of that story is pretty much the same. Woke up in a dark alley with medical weird experiments <laughs> going on and little dwarf, yeah, sorry. We didn't get very imaginative till later. So <laughs> then there's the, um, then there was the party that I went to when I was a college kid. That was pretty fun. And uh, we were all hanging out, having a great time. And there was a great, uh, there was uh, drugs and 3D awesome and uh, we got all faded and cross faded as they call it nowadays I guess but we just got so drunk and high and we were having a great time and this one dude started complaining and, he, and, and, and his little uh, his little complaint went like a virus through the whole group like it was so crowded in here what are we going to do and the guy was like dude we're here to take off our arms there'll be so much more room yeah, let's try it. So we all ran over to the door and we piled our arms in a big pile by the door. And then I went to the bathroom. And then that's when I realized we need your arms for that shit. And uh, right when I was in the middle of the bathroom, that was when uh, the police came and raided the party. It was terrible. So we all ran. So they all ran and took all the, uh, everyone found their arms and took off. And when I got there, the only two that was left in the pile was these two. Terrible. So, uh, yeah, same thing though. Same thing. Just imagine. I'm just imagining the little dwarf. So let's see. Uh, oh yeah, this one's kind of boring, but uh, just uh, basic, basic physical comedy. I just kind of spent the night, or uh, I was driving one night and uh, got a flat tire, and so I get out the road and start changing the and uh, the tire gets stuck on me, so I'm trying to give it a big tug, and uh, I slip, I fall all the way back. My arms are out in the road, and just then a truck comes by and runs off, runs over my arms right to the elbow. I'm like, oh my gosh, and I can't drive now because my arms are all damaged, and I was like, what am I gonna do? So I tried to hitchhike, and that didn't work out. Everybody kept waving at me, so yeah. That was a terrible one, too. 
Uh, there was uh, Taco Bell, or there was Meet My Past Self. Good amount of work because I'm seeing the videos that you want. But uh, there was Taco Bell, so I worked at Taco Bell to get through college. Uh, the sad thing, though, is uh, um, Taco Bell doesn't pay you that much, and so I was stuck doing just uh, uh, every so often I'd be able to save up for a part, you know, for a class or two. And I was working part time, and I was going to school part time. And so, uh, anyway, it basically, long story short, there was uh, it took me 11 years to get my four year degree. Now, while I was doing all that uh, studying, I was also uh, at Taco Bell having a great time. And I'm, uh, I was in charge of keeping all the food hot. And so, right when, say, the nacho cheese would get hot, I'd go over and put it in the microwave. And then I was like testing the temperatures, and I knew the exact next thing was going to be the beans. And so, right when the nacho cheese came out, I put the so basically, uh, I spent 11 years standing in front of the microwave, putting things in and out of the microwave, and uh, yeah, I got through lunch, and uh, just kind of slowly. You know how, uh, you know how the frog, uh, you can boil a frog supposedly, and uh, he won't ever know it until the heat seeps right in. My arms just kept shrinking more, and I, I never realized it until I tried to go get another job besides Taco Bell, and uh, now that's why I'm doing comedy. So, uh, let's see. And then the last one was, uh, well, no, there's a couple now. Okay, so uh, the other thing was uh, time travel. You guys heard of time travel, and, and you know one of the worries that you have to have with time travel, or that you have when you time travel, is uh, doing something stupid in the past that creates uh, that paradox where uh, you know it changes things. And uh, yeah, so it turns out uh, when I went back uh, in time, I met myself as a kid. Melded uh, the future me and the and the kid me melded, and uh, that's why uh, I ended up uh, acting out in this stupid kid, and uh, why I had the short time. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. So the one that I think I'm gonna, the one that I, uh, the one I think I liked the most was uh, uh, I was camping again, out camping, and uh, um, I was looking up. Uh, I, I was out rock climbing. Ready to go rock climbing, and I get there. And I'm like, oh, that looks like an awesome goal. I want to go up to that cave up on the cliff. It's like, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna make it up to the cave. So in the night, uh, you know, I, I I get down and do, you know I get my plans all laid out, and then I just go to sleep and I'm ready to go to bed. And uh, in the night, I wake up and there's this vampire and he's sucking the thumb, the the blood out of my thumbs. So that's why they're so small on the end. And uh, Anyway, he sucked so hard that it was like making my arms smaller and smaller and smaller. It was really terrible. And, uh, you know, finally when I realized it wasn't a dream, I screamed and I punched him in the nose and I turned her, turned her away. And uh, punching him in the nose did that weird thing where it made him sneeze. And he was like, choo! And, uh, and his fangs landed in my butt and he blew all that blood back into my butt. So now I have small arms and a big butt. And, and <laughs> Not that great. Anyway, anyway, so uh, yeah, one of those, one of those is the actual reason why my arms are small, and uh, we're gonna find out someday who, which one. But I don't know yet. Thanks. That's all I got. Bye.